Hey everyone, welcome back to all new episode of Maker Space. This week we're going to be doing a change up. A change up? Yes, we're going to be doing a review. A review? Yes, a review. A review? A review on the Forbatum PLA filament that's behind me. I had some serious problems originally when I got this filament. You say problems? Yes, problems. Lots of problems. If you want to find out what the problems are, you guys are going to have to hang in there because we're going to be moving over to that archive footage. I got you there. Now! You blinked before I did. Hi guys, it's Dean here. I just wanted to give you guys a review or breakdown of filament that I've uh, recently purchased. And I just want to give you guys a heads up of what the filament is actually doing. The filament that I purchased is a Forbatum PLA. The box looks like this. Let's say like this. It's just got some markings on the box of what you've actually purchased it. A couple of serial numbers, etc. Inside the box, you'll find a vacuum packed roll like this. Just got some of the details, the batch numbers, the color, the thickness and the weight of the filament. So the problems that I've been having with this particular filament is that on th three of the rolls that I've actually opened and used is doing the exact same thing. What it's doing is you would feed the filament onto your printer and everything will look fine. The filament seems to, to be fine, the thickness uh, the consistency, everything on the filament seems to be fine. Uh, you feed it into the printer, you select whatever print you need to print and it will go off and it will start printing. Now usually what I experienced on these particular filament rolls would be the beginning of the filament seems to be the best quality of the actual roll so you won't pick up a, a problem straight away on the filament. What tends to happen is You'll print, you'll set it, you'll leave it, and then you'll come back maybe an hour, or half an hour, whatever, however long you you check your prints. And what will tend to happen is you'll see that the build plate has uh, dropped and there's nothing happening. It'll seem like there's maybe either a block or something, but what if you actually look in the tube itself or at the back where the filament roll actually attaches onto the printer, uh, has, has physically snapped with the section that has been pushing. So what will happen is, the printer would have broken off or the filament would have broken off a piece of the filament either at the section where it starts feeding into the tube or perhaps in the tube itself but as soon as any bend has applied any amount of force onto this filament what tends to happen is it'll just start snapping it's very very brittle so the beginning of the, the filament as i say you'll get sections like this one over here currently that if you bend it it seems to be fine, it bends like normal PLA does. You won't even notice there's a difference and you'll think, okay, well, that's fine. Let me, I might have just got a small section that might not be uh, set up correctly, but I mean, it takes a lot to, to break some points, but you'll get a section like this one, which I actually snapped out of the printer. You apply any amount of force and it'll just completely snap. doesn't matter where. And I'm not applying that much force on it, I'm just bending it and any amount of bending to it to a certain point depending like this one over here you, there, there again you have a section that's able to bend a lot more than other sections and then you'll get one small section that is completely brittle and it'll just snap without any force whatsoever so I mean the printers don't apply that much force of bending I mean usually when the rolls uh, when the rolls install, uh, installed on my Ultimaker original, which I've been trying to test these filaments on, I mean, you literally have got a bend such as that going into the tube. So we're not talking about a massive amount of bending or anything like that. Any amount of, of force on this filament will just snap. So I thought originally it was just one roll. I started off printing with this white, the white PLA. As you can see, there's quite a bit that I've printed, not that much, and um, I've got a waste, I've got a waste uh, packet here that I've put all the filament in, different sections, different small pieces of 
filament when I've experienced that it just snaps like that so you'll get a section that seems to be a bit more but it gets to large large sections where you cannot absolutely do anything as you can see over there you can bend it a lot lot more but you'll get to sections that completely just are brittle and you can just bend them and they snap so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on this verbatim PLA I'm sure it's the same thing with the ABS from verbatim so when this started happening what I did was I ended up getting hold of the company that sold this filament just to let them know that I had experienced some problem with this filament they were extremely helpful um, place down in Durban in uh, South Africa uh, do-it-yourself electronics they actually got in contact with a representative from uh, from verbatim which is going to actually be meeting up with me today apparently they said that their first batches this is uh, the first generation filament that they released that has been known to give some problems so I was a little bit um, a little bit uh, wary to, to, to try some more filament but he said that the filament is or the first this is part of the first uh, batches of uh, the verbatim filament and uh, the filament had given them some problems before so what he wants to do is uh, come up uh, come out to my offices today and uh, give me the new generation filament so what I'm going to do is I'll give you guys an update on this video of uh, the new fil uh, filament from uh, verbatim the second generation and see how it uh, compares to this one because I at this moment I cannot um, give give you guys the okay on this filament I'm going to be giving all my filament back uh, to the uh, verbatim um, rep that's coming to see me. Uh, he's going to be bringing me uh, five new rolls to replace these ones, the, the next generation um, filament. I'm going to print off of it. I'll also give you guys a look at what the filament comes, how it gets packaged, what the, filament, the new filament rolls look like, as well as the quality. But for now, the first batches, if you do perhaps go online and you look for some filaments and you see these boxes with these looking rolls I would definitely stay away because you're bound to run into a lot more problems with these older style filament rolls Alright, we've seen the archive footage Now everybody must be wondering what happened after that Well, good, good news to report JP, the manager of Forbatum here in South Africa hand delivered me, free of charge a replacement for all of the PLA that I purchased down in Durban. Now everybody must be asking me what have my experiences been with this next generation filament that I received. Well, I've been printing now for almost three months without any problems whatsoever with the filament. I haven't had any jams, I haven't had any filament breaking while feeding into the printer. I've had actually more problems with my Ultimakers than I have experienced with this new second generation filament behind me. So, the next thing I want to get to is what this second generation filament looks like compared to the first. I've got an open spool here right next to me. It's a black, it's my black PLA. Um, as you can see, the roll or the filament roll or spool that comes out is completely plain. It's got just a bit of um, designs on the front. It's got the name, the verbatim name on either side. It's got a white sticker in the middle just to indicate what it is, uh, the batch numbers at the bottom, as well as the name. In this case, it's PLA Black 2.58 and it's one uh, kilogram roll. On the opposite side, it's exactly the same. It's just mirrored and it's upside down. And that's what it looks from the side. Moving on to the packaging. This is what the this is what the package looks like as you can see the package looks a lot more like the old style uh, filament rolls look like with the blue verbatim as well as the white um, the packaging looks a lot better now or the second generation as you can see it's well designed you'll be able to uh, be able to pick this up a lot better than the standard brown uh, boxes that it came or this first generation came in um, but you'll see on the left hand or your right hand side it's got a picture of the color, it's got the thickness, um, the printing uh, temperature at the bottom, as well as the weight of the box. On the sides, there's not too much, there's just a bit of information, barcodes on either side. And then at the back, it's just got a bit of information um, of the filament in different languages that you guys can read. Towards the top, it's got a nice little handle that you're able to um, hold onto or carry, such as that. And if you move in to the 
filament itself. You've got a warranty booklet with different languages, with all the different warranty uh, information that you guys can read up on. Comes in a vacuum packed bag. I've obviously opened this one and it's the same thing. It's just got a gray uh, spool that you're able to identify. This one looks a little bit more different. It's got the barcode at the, or the batch number at the bottom compared to this one, but they all look exactly the same. They're all gray on the outside. They've got these lines with the verbatim. So as you can see, you'll be able to distinguish a difference straight away between the first generation and the second, purely because these are plain. The boxing, obviously the retail boxing is completely different compared to the gray verbatim boxes of the first generation. So you guys will definitely be able to distinguish between the first and the second generation. And you obviously know which one out of the two are a lot better, which would be the second generation. So my final thoughts towards the end of the video would be, I'm quite glad that I went through the situation. Fine, I went through the situation and at the time I was extremely upset. I had spent my hard earned money on filament and it wasn't performing to what I thought it would be. But as soon as I contacted the company that I purchased it from, Downey Durban, as well as them putting me onto Forbatum, Forbatum had no issue uh, telling me that there were a couple of problems in the first generation filament and they were willing to help me swap out all of my filament at no additional cost to try and keep me happy as a customer. I didn't call them stating that I'm starting a YouTube channel or anything like that. I was just a general customer calling the support number and lodging a complaint and telling them how unhappy I was with, the, with their product. And they went beyond anything that they really needed to, to try and keep me happy as a customer. And that's something I really am grateful for uh, uh, when it comes to purchasing this verbatim. It, it, gives me a comfort that if I have an issue, I know that a company, a very well-known company, will stand behind their product. And I don't know if there's a lot of companies out there that will do that. So would I recommend this verbatim filament to anybody that's perhaps watching this video? By all means, I would definitely do so. I would say that you you would purchase a product knowing that there's a warranty if there is any flaw with the filament that they will definitely have your back and they will sort you out. Um, the price of the price of the filament is far superior than any other filament that's on the market for uh, price versus quality that you're actually getting with the filament. To date, I still haven't had any issues with this filament, and the price uh, is brilliant. I mean, you can't you can't purchase a well-known quality filament like this at at this this price. There's nothing that matches it. So I will definitely be trying other filaments down the, ro uh, the road, but my go-to filament from now on will definitely be the verbatim filament, purely because of the price. I'm able to spend a lot less, get a very good quality um, filament, and still be able to print, knowing that the filament is definitely uh, quite, quite reliable, and I know the company that's behind it. So if you guys found this video um, helpful, please click the like button as well as if you haven't subscribed down at the bottom if you guys have any questions about the filament or any other questions about verbatim leave them down in the description below and i'll definitely get back to you and i'll definitely see you in the next makerspace this week we're going to be changing things up a bit you ask what yes we're going to be doing an unboxing no we're not going to be doing an unboxing we're going to be doing a review good idea uh, no no i don't say <laughs> ah!